Creatine is by far the most extensively studied supplement on the market. Yet, despite its great reputation and popularity, there are still lots of questions that seem to be left unanswered. That's why in this video, I'm going to share 13 things no one tells you about creatine supplementation so that you can once and for all decide whether or not supplementing with creatine is right for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number one, you cannot get enough creatine from food alone. While it's synthesized in the body and comes from foods you consume, this process only fills your body's creatine stores by 60 to 80%. According to the International Society of Sports, even if you eat an omnivorous diet with a fairly high proportion of meat, it's not enough to reach 100% saturation of your creatine stores. To put things into perspective, you would need to eat around 2 pounds of beef to get the same dose of creatine that you would from one small scoop. And unless your creatine stores are at full saturation, you won't experience the full benefit of this powerful compound. Number two, it improves brain function. Similar to your muscles, your brain also stores and uses phosphocreatine, allowing it to function optimally. One study showed that supplementing with 5 grams of creatine daily for 6 weeks improved working memory and intelligence scores significantly, indicating also an increase in brain processing speeds. Another study from the Neuroscience Research Journal found that supplementing with 8 grams of creatine for 5 days resulted in less mental fatigue when performing mathematical calculations. Not only that, but research has also suggested that that creatine supplementation may reduce symptoms of anxiety, depression, improve sleep quality, and enhance overall mood. Number three, it aids in fat loss. In a fairly recent meta-analysis published in the Journal of Functional Morphology and Kinesiology, they found that those who supplemented with creatine while resistance training experienced an increase in lean body mass and a decrease in fat mass compared to those on placebo. Besides helping you train harder and longer, leading to more calories burned, creatine has a direct effect on your fat metabolism. It stimulates mitochondrial ATP turnover in fat tissue, which in turn increases the metabolic rate of subcutaneous and brown adipose tissue. Thus, creatine metabolism plays an important role in fat bioenergetics and creatine supplementation positively influences energy expenditure. Number four, water retention is intracellular. Water retention is by far the most common reason for individuals to avoid creatine. This fear of appearing watery or bloated, however, is unwarranted. You see, creatine is taken up into your muscle from circulation by a sodium-dependent creatine transporter. Since the transport involves sodium, water will also be taken up into muscle to help maintain intracellular osmolality. This increased osmolality creates a large-scale gene expression in the skeletal muscle, ultimately creating a very conducive environment environment for hypertrophy. So, while creatine does increase water retention, it does so within the muscle cells. Thus, it will not result in looking watery or bloated, but rather fuller and more muscular. Number 5. It has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. One very recent systematic review found that creatine has the ability to provide anti-inflammatory and anti-catabolic effects. Not only that, but it might also attenuate cancerous tumor growth progression. Another study from the Journal of Free Radical Biology and Medicine found that creatine through free radicals improves cellular antioxidant activity which can help protect against inflammation and oxidative damage. Number 6. It Improves Cardiovascular Health Research has suggested that creatine could improve the function of blood vessels and lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. The underlying mechanism for these benefits are believed to involve the reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation which can harm the cardiovascular system over time. One early study found that creatine may lead to the improvement of blood flow and the relaxation of blood vessels, both of which are crucial for maintaining healthy 
cardiovascular function. Additionally, creatine supplementation may help to increase the production of nitric oxide, a molecule that is involved in regulating blood pressure and preventing the formation of blood clots. Another study published in the Journal of Nutrients found that creatine supplementation improves the heart's ability to withstand stress in individuals with heart failure. Another study reported in the European Journal of Applied Physiology found that creatine supplementation could improve the heart's response to exercise in healthy individuals. Number seven, it improves bone health. One study conducted on postmenopausal women found that creatine supplementation increased bone mineral density by up to 3%. Another 2005 study showed that creatine supplementation was associated with an increase in bone density in older men. The mechanism by which creatine may improve bone health is not fully understood, but it's thought to be related to its ability to increase muscle strength. Number eight, it's neurologically protective. Creatine supplementation has shown promise as a therapeutic intervention for patients afflicted with Huntington's, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease, and even ALS. More so, the scientific literature also states that supplementing with creatine can help prevent long-term memory loss and strokes from occurring. One study on the possible therapeutic effects of creatine in mice with Huntington's disease showed improved motor performance, reduced atrophy of neurons and Huntington protein aggregates, and an observed increased survival rate or lifespan. Creatine's neuroprotective properties may be due in part to its ability to increase the levels of phosphocreatine in the brain. It has shown potential as a neuroprotective agent due to its ability to improve energy metabolism and reduce oxidative stress in the neurons within the brain and outside from the spinal cord to the peripheral nervous system. Number nine, it does not cause hair loss. The majority of the theories about the relationship between creatine and male pattern baldness stems from this single 2009 study. The data people clung to was the significant increase in DHT levels, which can in fact cause hair loss. A more recent wide-scale systematic review published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition has debunked this long-standing myth. This study found no significant correlation between creatine supplementation and hair loss in healthy men. Among the 12 studies that investigated the effects of creatine supplementation on testosterone, only two have shown differences in testosterone levels, of which both increases were physiologically insignificant. Five of those studies found that the levels of free testosterone, which is a precursor to DHT, did not change among the participants. Number 10, it's completely safe long term. In their 2017 position stand, the International Society of Sports Nutrition stated that creatine is a safe and effective supplement for men, women, children, and the elderly. One of the most comprehensive studies done with regard to its safety measured 54 clinical health markers and observed no adverse effects following almost two years of supplementing with creatine. There's also no evidence that creatine harms the liver or kidneys in healthy people. That said, people with pre-existing liver or kidney concerns should consult with their doctor before supplementing. Although people also associate creatine with dehydration and cramps, studies show the opposite. One study showed that creatine actually augmented exercise performance in a hot environment and that it did not alter the participants' thermoregulatory responses. Another study showed that its supplementation did not appear to increase the incidence of injury or cramping in college football players. Considering all the research done on creatine, which have consistently shown its safety, this supplement is indeed safe to use over the long term. Number 11. Loading is not necessary. 
In this study by Holtman and colleagues, they were able to show that muscular creatine accumulation was similar in participants who consumed 3 grams per day for 28 days and 20 grams per day for just 6 days. The only difference found was in the time it took to saturate the body's creatine stores fully. If you'd prefer to fill your creatine levels faster, take 20 to 25 grams every day for 7 days. From there, you'll consume just 5 grams of creatine daily to ensure those stores remain full. The problem with loading creatine, however, is that large doses may cause stomach issues. To combat this, divide the 20 to 25 grams of creatine throughout the day. For example, if you eat 5 meals a day, then take 4 to 5 grams of creatine with each meal. If you're a bit more patient and prefer to avoid any side effects, then your option is to simply take 5 grams of creatine daily. Keep in mind, however, that this slower approach may take about 4 weeks or so to experience similar skeletal muscle saturation levels and feel its performance enhancing effects. Number 12. Some people are non-responders. According to one study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, around 25% of people are so-called non-responders. These non-responders tend to have higher creatine stores naturally and thus don't experience the same improvements in exercise performance after supplementing. If you want to be sure that creatine will work for you, there's only one way to find out try it. Keep in mind that you'll have to be patient as it can take two or three weeks for the creatine to actually saturate your muscles. And since creatine is dirt cheap, it won't hurt to try. And number 13, women may not experience the same benefits. Women tend to have higher concentrations of intramuscular creatine. This is why in some studies, such as this one from the Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise, females showed a decreased responsiveness and performance effects to creatine supplementation compared to males. Keep in mind, however, that females tend to have lower levels of creatine in the brain, and as mentioned earlier, creatine can do wonders in terms of enhancing cognitive function. Not only that, but creatine supplementation has also been shown to reduce symptoms of depression, specifically in women. Creatine also seems to play an important role during menses, pregnancy, postpartum, perimenopause, and postmenopause as it and its associated enzymes and cofactors fluctuate during each stage of a female's reproductive life cycle. So there you have it. 13 things no one tells you about supplementing with creatine. To put it simply, it's safe, effective, and due to its low price tag, should be taken by anyone looking to improve their health. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if you're training consistently and your nutrition is in order, yet you're failing to see noticeable results, check out our science-based recovery stack. With pitch black and maxed out, you'll have your post-workout needs covered with clinically dosed products proven to improve sleep quality, enhance recovery, and increase muscle and strength. And right now, you can get 25% off your entire order. Just head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description and enter the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. And if you're enjoying the content and want to support the channel, all we ask is that you click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. Peace.